Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's show you how to use this table method, if that's what we can call it. So here in the vertical columns, we have the what we call the disease column. So these are the ones that actually have the disease. These are the ones that actually are healthy. 40 have the disease, 9 or 60 are healthy for a total of 1,000 subjects. In the horizontal columns, here we have the, the positives. So here we have the ones that test positive the ones that actually have the disease and test positive, the ones that are healthy and test positive. Here we have the ones that have the disease but test negative, and here we have the ones that are healthy and test negative. That's why we call these the true positives and true negatives, and these are false positives and false negatives. Now, we realized on the last video that we can find the probability that someone actually does have the disease when they test positive. That's going to be probability somewhere between 0 and 100%. And we can calculate it using this equation right here, where we have the value that goes in here, divided by the sum of the two that go in here. All right. So how do we calculate what goes in here? Well, this represents, of all the subjects that are tested that have the disease, the ones that test positive. And we're told that the test is 98% sensitive, which means that 98% of the ones that have the disease and are tested will test positive. So what we have in here, for number one, we're going to have the product of the 98% multiplied times the number that have the disease, which is 40. And 40 times 98, that would be equal to 39.2. So that goes in here, which means of the 40 that have the disease and are tested, 39.2 will test positive. Of course, there's no such thing as 39.2 subjects, but that's the number we end up with. Now, likewise, here we can say that for those who are healthy and are tested, they will test positive. How many? Well, it turns out since the test is 95% specific, 5%, 1 minus 95%, 5% will test false positive, which means of the 960, 5% will test positive. So for what goes in box number two, we take the 960, which are the, all the ones that are healthy, and we multiply that times 5%, because we know that 5% of those that are healthy will test positive because the test is 95% specific. So 5% of that, uh, that would be 45, that would be 48, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that would be 48 will test positive. If you add these two together, that gives you, um, uh, let's see, that would give you 87.2. While we're at it, we might as fill out the other boxes as well. Now, how many will test negative if they actually have the disease? Well, that would be 2%. 2% are escapes or called false negatives. 2% of the 40 that have the disease is 0 0.8. And notice that that should always add up. So 0 0.8 added to 39.2 does indeed add up to 40. Now likewise, how many of those that are healthy will actually test negative? Well, that depends on the specificity, which is 95%, which means 95%. Oh, and I forgot to, um, I forgot to fill this out right here, didn't I? So I'll just go ahead and illustrate it. So for number three, we have 40 that have the disease, and we multiply it times 2%. That gives us 0 0.8, so that gives us 0 0.8, which is what goes in here in this box. And of course, this here, that adds up to 48, that goes in this box right there. And finally, what goes in here? Well, we have 960 subjects that are healthy, and of those, how many test negative? Well, since our test is 95% specific, that means 95% of those who are healthy will test negative. So for box number four, we end up with 960, and we multiply that times 95, yep, 95 percent. And so that's going to be equal to, uh, that would be 912. So 95 percent of 960 is 912. And again, they should add up together to 960. And when you add these two together, that adds up to 912.8. And when you add those two together, that should add up to all the subjects tested. These are the ones that test positive both for good reason because they have the disease and unfortunately false positives that they don't have the disease and all those test negative the ones that actually are healthy and those that are have the disease but test negative anyway 
And so that together, you can see that adds up to 1,000, this adds up to 1,000, this adds up to 40, that adds up to 960, these add up to 87.2, and these add up to 912.8. And that's how we use that table format to calculate the various probabilities. Now let's go ahead and plug that in here. So this is equal to the value in box number one, which is 39.2 divided by the sum of what's in box number one plus what's in box number two, which is 48. And when you calculate that, hopefully we get the same result. So we take 39.2 and divide it by the sum of those two, which is 87.2. And we get 44.95% which is the exact same number that we got on the previous video when we used the other method. So this is how we use the table method. This is what it looks like. Again, on the top here we have the truth. So going down here, this is the true values. These are the ones that have the disease. These are the ones that are healthy. In the horizontal direction, we have the ones that test positive and the ones that test negative. And that's how it's done.